So we've been opening between 15 and 18 studios a year for the past couple of years. And what we've seen is we've gone into new markets and we're creating new communities. We just continue to invest in our hospitality training, the way that we hire, we look for people that have, got, have a great attitude, the kind of things with a culture of yes mentality that want to be the best part of people's days because regardless of whether we're in New York or in Dallas, Texas or in Seattle, Washington, that sort of sense of connected hospitality and making our riders feel heard, acknowledged, understood, appreciated sort of translates no matter the market. So we just continue to invest in training and development for our team so that we can give them the best tools to create those relationships. We are creating a live experience every hour on the hour. We've always treated this as a sort of a curtains up, curtains down, live production business. And we're doing this all in service of the riders. That's the why behind the business. We get up every day to what we say, you know, create these communities and awaken personal transformation for our riders in those studios. And so it's important, I think, as we sit in conference rooms in our office and we build out teams and whether it be technology roadmaps, training roadmaps, um, our capital investment decisions, that so we're all framing it in the light of the rider. I've had many women who are, you know, some of the most successful women in the country tell me that they go to SoulCycle, that's kind of a meeting point for them. That's where they find, you know, different people they want to bring on and network. Can you tell me a little bit how that impacts the brand and what type of influence you think and, you know, how that's important for SoulCycle? I mean, I think the, the community that we create of like-minded people is what makes SoulCycle really special, right? You've got 60 people moving to the rhythm of the music in the dark for 45 minutes, and then they come out into a space that's very purposefully designed to be small to create these connections. So we have you know, great stories of people meeting and getting married in the studios. We've got the Democrats and Republicans riding together in D.C. <laughs> and having conversations in the lobby of our studios, and we hear about this all the time. And while it wasn't the initial mission of the business, I think it's been absolutely why this has been so uh, well received and successful in these new markets is people are looking for ways to connect. You know, we're so tethered to our devices 24-7 now and there's really no way to disconnect. And what SoulCycle gives people is a place to actually put your phone away, put it in the locker, spend 45 minutes investing in yourself, but then connecting with other human beings who, again, we, you know, are like-minded. So I think it's been a great, um, a great byproduct of the business as we've grown.